Daily Wire is putting out its first comedy movie. Yay. The right-wing media organization that is so obsessed with trans people put together a transphobic comedy. I'm using heavier quotes there. The story centers around a male basketball team who poses as women in order to compete in and win women's sports. Trailer is pretty devoid of jokes and Ted Cruz makes a cameo. That old gut buster. Funniest, funniest guy around. His concept has already been done in a way less offensive way. Hello, she's the man. And just as offensively in The Ringer. It's so crazy to me that Ben Shapiro is so obsessed with other people's genitalia when his voice sounds like his hasn't dropped yet. Let's assume that I'm never going to give you up, never going to let you down, and never going to run around and desert you. They're calling it the most triggering comedy of the year. No one's triggered, man. You're just bad at comedy. This movie is just another in a line of straight-to-DVD dookie that conservative media is putting out. Apparently, there's an entire cinematic universe just for our racist homophobic uncles. All right, guys, so we got to talk about the Daily Wire, who is triggering and trolling the woke left with this new comedy movie that they're about to release in a couple days called Lady Ballers. Now, I'm pretty sure most of you guys have seen the trailer for this movie. It is a movie that basically pokes fun uh, at the idea that society has normalized biological uh, males competing against biological women or females in sports okay it's basically just a comedy right i consider this to be the same thing as stand up okay it's not meant to be taken seriously it's meant uh for people to just sit back and, and laugh okay and to poke fun at some of the things that again happens in our society but again that doesn't stop the left from losing their minds and being upset and crying transphobia over this comedy movie which you know again movies like this have been made before but i guess in this instance <laughs> the daily wire is being more direct in regards to making fun of again the fact that you know this is something that has become normalized in our society so while further ado i'm gonna play a little bit of the trailer i'm not gonna play the whole thing so you guys can get the gist of kind of what's going on here and then we're gonna get into some of the reactions from the liberal left so without further ado let's get into it the world where women's sports is being transformed. The Daily Wire calls foul with the most triggering comedy of the year. Guys, this is serious. Sports can be your pathway to a better life. Well, like yours? <laughs> Please don't steal my catalytic converter again. Winning matters. It's the key ingredient in becoming a winner. I mean, you should try it sometime. Are you gonna move? I am not. <laughs> Let's cut to the chase. I know you're not a woman. Hey, you don't know how he you. identifies. If you can beat them. What do you know about the US Opens for the global games? You want us to compete as women. $5,000 prizes. My lover says you were a great coach back in the day. Join them. This is the way the world is now. My eight-year-old daughter told me all about it. So a guy can become a girl with no physical changes at all. Oh, that's called gender fluid. So I can be a woman on the court and a man in the bedroom. I can't believe it. Nice. You mean when you're sleeping? Yes. Coach. Alex. We, we could play, play basketball. basketball. We have to get the whole team back together. It's time. We're in. I'm in. I'm in to play Lady Baldwin. Mount up. Like a girl. Guess what? I'm with her. Believe in my truth. So again, you guys get the gist of what's going on here. I think that this movie looks hilarious, right? I think it's one of those movies that is playfully making fun of something that, again, we see in society. And this is not the first time that we, we've seen this type of stuff, okay? We've seen plenty of movies that will make fun or poke fun at, you know, stereotypes or, you know, certain things that, you know, we have going on in society. And again, there's no harm meant, right? This is not supposed to be hateful or anything like that it's a movie it's a comedy movie again i see this again it's the same as stand-up but when it comes to stand-up 
Uh, again, you have certain people that get triggered by jokes. They get triggered by what is clearly something of comedic intent. So with that being said, this is being treated the same way, of course, because, again, the, the liberals are upset with this. And they're crying transphobia and bigotry. Conservatives do not possess the ability to be funny. I mean, I felt this way for a while, but the thought was cemented after I saw that the freaks at the Daily Wire are trying their hand at a comedy movie using their three best tactics of racism, misogyny, and homophobia. After seeing the trailer, the only question I had after was, why, why aren't conservatives funny? Why can't they be funny? Now, the normal liberal answer to that question is, you know, it's because they're rude and mean and offensive or they're punching down, whereas good comedians know how to punch up. Which is fair and true in a sense, but I think it goes a little bit further than that. I think the real answer for why these guys aren't funny is because they're dumb and wrong. It's really that simple. Like, conservative tropes are just inherently dumb and wrong. So <laughs> their comedy is going to be inherently dumb and wrong as well. For example, the dumb and wrong trope that these conservatives try to use for this entire movie is the idea that these five random white men could do anything that a woman could do better just because they're men. Like a normal human would look at this gaggle of pasty racists and put money on a JV girls high school basketball team to beat them in a game. It's not the fact that, you know, there's an offensive joke behind all of this that makes this dumb and wrong. It's the fact that conservative tropes inherently are dumb and wrong that makes this not funny. So when the basis of your jokes is wrong and dumb, all of the comedy you create is going to be wrong and dumb. And this same linear path follows every single conservative piece of comedy. So yeah, that's why. Um, so I just wanted to start on the racism because it's not really the focus, but um, yeah. That just one scene with um, them pulling down a black dude's trousers and talking about his like big dick. Nothing like super dehumanizing about that as a punchline to your joke in your movie, which goes in generally with the dehumanization and sexualization of black men in general. And Brett Cooper and Michael Knowles wearing uh, like Native American outfits, like, I don't really understand what the fuck's going on there. But yeah, the premise is just like really stupid. Like they're talking about like we could dominate all sports just because you're men. It's like, it, do you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of that poll where like men who took it believe they could return a serve from Serena Williams and just how much men think of themselves compared to women. And obviously this trailer is full of misogyny as well because you have that scene of looks like student athletes who are women all doing shot put and the random guy who's fake being a woman, he can throw it way further just just because he's a man? Does that make him automatically better at all sport? I'm trying to look at this, I wouldn't say objectively, because on the surface it is like racist, transphobic, misogynistic garbage, right? Yeah, so you see that, you heard that, okay? The left doing what the left does, right? Every single time they have an issue with something, they scream and cry bigotry. Well, it's racist, it's transphobic, it's misogynistic, it's sexist. Bruh, it's a movie, right? It's a comedy movie right it's a comedy movie but again that does not stop it does not stop these people from again losing their minds and writing articles like this like for example this one from lgbtq nation it says right wingers make a comedy movie attacking trans women in sports and it looks terrible so let's read here the far right and viciously anti-trans daily wire has announced its first feature length comedy film written to mock trans women and girls who are fighting for the right to participate in sports as their gender a trailer for the film entitled lady ballers depicts a group of cisgender men deciding to pretend to be trans women and join a women's basketball league as one team with the intent of dominating the sport the trailer calls the film the most triggering comedy of the year, a derisive reference to the right-wing narrative that progressives are slow snowflakes who are easily triggered. This is ironic considering that the people at the Daily Wire were so triggered by the existence of trans people that they made an entire movie about something that has never happened. I mean, <laughs> amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, you know. Anyways, let, let's move on here. Clips also show the film mocking trans activist Dylan Mulvaney, who is not a professional athlete at all, and reveal a cameo by Senator Ted Cruz. Another scene also shows the actors disrespecting the concept of trans identities by saying it's also possible to be trans age and play on children's sports teams as adults. The trailer then cuts to an adult severely injuring a child during a baseball game. 
The film also stars several Daily Wire commentators, including one of the most well-known, Matt Walsh, who is known for his own anti-trans film, What is a Woman? Yeah, so I got to tell you, Matt Walsh and a wig with a beard is hilarious, bro. I don't understand why in the world, again, people can't just, you know, sit back and just laugh at themselves, right? Like, I really don't get it. I really don't understand, right? Everybody was able to grasp the concept of white chicks, right? When Wayne's brothers made that movie, obviously, um, you know, playing off of stereotypes and tropes about the way that white women act. Again, it was totally fine. It was totally okay, okay? You, you had the race hustle of the world. They were silent about the fact that you had black men in white face, right? They were in white face, Okay. Nobody cared, right? Nobody said, oh my God, this is bigotry and hate towards white women. Okay, everybody was able to sit back and laugh and say, ha ha ha, yeah, I mean, this is this is pretty funny, right? And who did it harm, right? That movie harmed nobody. But again, you know, when it comes to other groups of people, nah, you can't make jokes. You can't, you can't, you know, laugh and just have fun and just sit back and just enjoy a movie. Nah, you can't do that, right? It's a form of bigotry okay so this uh this outlet out says this trailer for a uh quote comedy film about trans athletes is the worst thing we've ever seen yeah so this whole article is just them raging about the fact that this movie you know has been made and uh it hasn't even come out yet but they're saying that it's the worst thing ever right it is the worst thing ever okay it's so bad it's so terrible transphobic bigoted hateful right this is what they say and it's almost like, again, I think that the left, they're the ones that can't do comedy, right? They can't sit back and laugh and have fun. Because, again, if it was a movie that made fun of white men or played off tropes in regards to white men or white women or, I, I mean, th they would be totally acceptable, right? It would be totally acceptable, okay? Nobody would be screaming and crying hate and bigotry, right? People would be, just be saying, well, it's comedy, Lighten up. Stop being triggered. Stop being a snowflake. Okay, but in this situation right here, again, uh, it's totally fine. It's totally okay to be triggered and outraged by what, again, clearly is a comedy. Clearly is something that, you know, is not meant to be harmful, anything like that. It is simply just poking fun at something that has essentially been normalized in our society. And that's what it is, okay, at the end of the day. But, um, you know, hey, this is the type of movie that Holly Weird would stay far away from, right? I guess they didn't have the cojones to actually, you know, d dwell into this realm of untapped comedy and potential because there's a whole lot of it there, right? There's a whole lot of it there. But again, the reason why they don't do it is because people get so triggered and so hurt by jokes, by comedy. And that's not the society that we should be striving to live in where people get so mad and upset, over a movie again a comedic movie a, a, a movie that again clearly is comedic in nature um it's not a serious serious movie it's not a serious thing um it's not even meant to send like a, a, a super serious message it's just poking fun at something that has become normalized in society and people want to be upset and mad about it so hey we'll see how the actual movie turns out uh <laughs> this looks like a hit from the daily wire here uh, but we'll see. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black and sort of perspective. Peace.